This is a video about arbitraging with FKLI. Arbitraging with FKLI. Arbitrage is taking of two opposite position in two different market, which is one in cash, another one in the futures, in order to take advantage of price distortions or mispricing between cash and futures market. So if you look at this table, arbitrage, we have two types of strategy. Strategy number one, if you buy in the spot market, at the same time you need to sell in the futures market. Strategy two, if you sell in spot market, you need to buy in futures market. So that is arbitrage. You take two opposite position, one transaction in spot, another transaction in futures. Two opposite position means buy and sell. So we only use arbitrage strategy when there is a mispricing between the futures price and the fair value of the price. So how to calculate fair value of FKLI? So this is formula fair value of FKLI. It is equal to KLCI plus KLCI times R minus DY times T divided by 365. So KLCI is a two-day spot price. T is the number of days to maturities of futures contract. R is cost of fund or interest rate. DY is dividend yield. So how to calculate T, which is days to maturity of futures contract? In the industry, arbitrator calculate days to maturity of futures contract based on the actual calendar. For learning purposes in this subject, for example, for exercise, test and exam, the calculation of days to maturity futures contract is simplified based on the following assumption. First, one month we assume equal to 30 days. And then arbitrage strategy start on the first day of the month and arbitrage close on the 30th day of the month. So therefore, we assume one month equal to 30 days. So for example, investor plan to start arbitrage in March 2020 and close in June 2020. So start month is March, end month is June. So March, April, May and June, we have four months. 4 months times 30 days, so it is equal to 120 days. Now we look at the types of arbitrage strategy. So for FKLI, we have two types of arbitrage strategy. The first one is cash and carry strategy. The other one is reverse cash and carry strategy. So how to choose your arbitrage strategy is based on the uh, condition of the market, whether the market is overpriced or underpriced. Overpriced market is where futures price is higher than fair value. So if you get overpriced condition, you must use cash and carry strategy. So cash and carry strategy in the spot market today, you need to buy spot. At the same time, you need to sell futures contract. When futures price less than fair value, that's mean you are in underpriced market condition. So under price condition, you need to use reverse cash and carry strategy. So reverse cash and carry strategy, you need to sell spot. At the same time, you need to buy futures. But for FKLI in Malaysia, reverse cash and carry is not practical because of short selling is not allowed in Bursa Malaysia. Okay, so we can only use one arbitrage strategy in Bursa Malaysia, which is cash and carry strategy. Now we look at how to solve cash and carry strategy for FKLI. This is example of the question. It is early October and you believe the quotation of KLCI features in Bursa Malaysia are mismatched. Currently, the spot index is quoting at 990 while November futures at 1060. Assuming average dividend yield of 3.5%, and risk free rate of 6.5% per annum, show your arbitrage activity and profit if both indices converge at 1020 in the last day of November with RM5 million of fund. So this is important information given in the question. So spot price today is at 990. November futures contract 
now priced at 1060 dividend yield 3.5% risk free rate 6.5% and then price of spot and futures contract at the maturity date is converged at 1020 and you plan to use 5 million of fund so you need to calculate number of days to maturity of futures contract which is the T so you start arbitrage in October you plan to use November FKLI, therefore arbitrage plan to close in November. So start month is October, end month is November. So October to November, we have 2 months. So 2 months times 30 days, so it is equal to 60 days. Step number 1, you need to calculate the number of futures contract needs to be traded. The formula of number of futures contract for FKLI is equal to amount to H times percentage of H times beta divided by futures price today times size of contract. So amount to H is 5 million in this case times percentage of H is not given in the question so we assume 100%. Beta of the portfolio is also not given in the question so we assume equal to 1. Price of futures today is 1060. Size of contract for FKLI is 50 ringgit per contract. So you get 94.33. So you get 94 contracts. Step number two, you need to calculate fair price of FKLI. So the fair price of fair value of FKLI is equal to KLCI plus KLCI times R minus dividend yield times t divided by 365 so klci spot price today is at 990 plus 990 times interest rate given 6.5 percent minus dividend yield 3.5 percent times 60 uh, divided by 365 so you get 994.88 step number three you need to compare price and choose your strategy so fair price calculated is at RM994.88, current November FKLI futures at RM1060. So when you compare futures price is higher than fair value, that means it is an overpriced condition. Overpriced condition, you need to choose cash and carry strategy. So cash and carry strategy, if you still remember, you need to buy spot sell futures. That means you need to buy 5 million of shares at the spot market today. At the same time, you sell 94 November FKLI futures contract at the futures market today. So investor needs to borrow at risk free rate of 6.5% in order to buy 5 million of shares at the spot market today. Step number 4, you need to prepare your arbitrage table. So arbitrage table, we have two columns. The first column represent your transaction in the spot market and the second column represent your transaction in futures market. So in arbitrage table, you need to put in detail all your transaction for your arbitrage strategy. So today in October, you buy 5 million of shares at price 990. You hold that shares temporarily. And then in order to buy 5 million of shares, you need to borrow 5 million ringgit at 6.5% risk free rate. At the same time, you open position in the futures market. Today, you need to sell 94 November FKLI at price 1060. And then you hold that position, both position in the spot and futures market. In November, when your futures contract is expired, you need to close out your position. You start in October, sell futures. In November, you need to close out, take opposite position. You need to buy 94 November FKLI futures at price 1020. At the same time, you need to sell your shares in the spot market. So you sell your shares at uh, worth 5 million at price 1020. Step number 5, you need to calculate profit or loss from futures market. So profit formula FKLI profit and loss is equal to SP which is a selling price minus BP the buying price times NF number of futures contract times SF size of futures contract 
minus broker's commission BC times NF number of futures contract. So there is no broker's commission given in the question. So the broker's commission is equal to zero. So selling price, if you look at your arbitrage table, selling price of FKLI is at 1060. Your buying price at 1020. Number of futures is 94 contract. Size of FKLI, you need to remember, 50 ringgit per contract. So you get 188000, So it is a positive value. Positive means you make profit from futures contract. Profit means cash inflow. Step number seven, calculate interest expenses. So interest expenses for borrowing 5 million ringgit at 6.5% per year for two months, which is 60 days. The formula is interest expenses equal to amount borrowed time interest rate times T divided by 365. So 5 million ringgit times 6.5% times 60 divided by 365. So you get 53,000 four hundred twenty four ringgit and sixty six cents so interest expenses is cash outflow step number eight you need to calculate dividend receipt so we assume you receive dividend for holding five million of shares at dividend yield of three point five percent for two months so dividend receipt is equal to portfolio amount times dividend yield times t divided by three six five so five million times 3.5% times 60 divided by 365 so you get 28,767 ringgit and 12 cents so dividend receive is cash in flow so step number 9 you calculate total profit or loss from the arbitrage strategy so futures profit you get 188,000 spot profit 151,515 ringgit and 15 cents interest expenses 53,424 ringgit and 66 cents dividend receive 28,767 ringgit and 12 cents so your total profit or loss 314,857 ringgit and 61 cents so if you look at all the cash flow we put negative for interest expenses because interest expenses is the cash outflow now let's move to reverse cash and carry for arbitrage strategy so this is the question for reverse cash and carry strategy it is early October and you believe that quotation of KLCI futures in the Bursa Malaysia are mismatched Currently, the spot index is quoting at 990 while November futures at 991. Assuming average dividend yield of 3.5% and risk free rates of 6.5% per annum, show your arbitrage activity and profit if both index converge at 1020 in the last day of November with 5 million of fund. So, these are important information given in the question. Current spot price is 990, November FKLI at 990, dividend yield is 3.5%, risk free rate 6.5%. So, price of spot and futures at the maturity date of futures contract is converged at 1020. So, you plan to use 5 million of fund. So, you need to calculate number of T's, which is the days to maturity of futures contract. So, you start arbitrage in October and you plan to use November FKLI. So, you plan to close out in November. 
So you start month is October, end month is November. So October to November, we have two months. So two months times 30 days. So period of your arbitrage is 60 days. So step number one, you need to calculate number of futures contract need to be traded. So number of futures contract for FKLI is equal to amount to hedge time percentage of hedge time beta divided by price of futures today times size of contract. So amount to hedge in this example is 5 million. Percentage of hedge is not given in the question so we assume 100%. Beta of portfolio is also not given in the question so we assume equal to 1. Price of futures contract today is 991 and size of contract is 50 ringgit so you get 100.90 so for number of contract we just take the uh, figure which is 100 so number of contract is 100 so step number two you need to calculate the fair price of futures contract so fair value of FKLI is equal to KLCI plus KLCI times R minus dividend yield times T divided by 365. So KLCI today is at 990. So time uh, plus 990 times 6.5 minus 3.5 times 60 divided by 365. So fair value of FKLI is 994.88. So fair value calculated is 994.88. Current November FKLI futures at 991. So futures price is less than fair value. So it is an underpriced condition. You need to use reverse cash and carry strategy. However, this strategy cannot be implemented because short selling is not allowed in Bursa Malaysia. So for reverse cash and carry strategy, you need to stop at the third step because you cannot use the strategy in Bursa Malaysia. So that's all for arbitrage FKLI. Thank you.